You know what it is I love about being Spider-Man? Everything. I mean, part of the draw originally of Spider-Man, of being part of Spider-Man, because most of the roles that I've I've gotten to play have been have been very uh, independent of a male figure. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think part of it was to explore the love story and also the kind of Romeo and Juliet tragic quality to it. But yeah, I mean, I, I definitely, I love playing a, a very independent lady. I'm coming with you. Fine, it's too dangerous. Sorry, I love you, don't hate me. Peter! The actual shooting of the movie, one day you're shooting a, a love scene and it's, you know, this tiny little microcosmic thing. And then the next day you're swinging from wires on a green screen. So it's the entire experience of Spider-Man is just larger than life. It's unlike anything else in the world. Going on this kind of a global press tour only drives that home, that this symbol is just, it, it's such a beloved mm -hmm. figure for so many people all over the world. We were just in China or Japan or Australia, anywhere. It's, um, it's, really, it's really iconic. So you feel like you're part of something much, much bigger than you. I have a stylist named Petra Flannery who is just a, a genius, so um, she's been more my introduction to fashion. But I, um, after having gotten to wear some of these things and understanding what I felt good in, I think I've become more interested in fashion just in the sense that it can help you feel. I mean, it was when I first wore Lanvin, that was. I, I, I put the dress on and I just thought, I feel like this is an extension of myself. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of a, a great moment to understand what these people are really doing. They're creating art that you can live your life in, which is pretty great. It's pretty great. And I stole that line from Devil Wears Prada, so <laughs> don't worry about it. That's fine. I feel That's a little fine. bit like Stanley Tucci right now.